<laughs> Love this look. What's going on here? What is up? If you are new here, my name is Ashika Lee. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in to get another video. So as y'all can tell by the title, this is a chit chat. Get ready with me. And yes, I actually timed it perfectly to where I actually had enough time to do everything and not like rush the process. So this is the finished look, y'all. The hair is, uh-huh, giving. And if y'all want to see how I got this makeup look, then definitely keep on watching. Y'all will see all of that and all the information for this hair will be down in the description box below. The motivational quote for today is, no matter who comes and leaves your life, God is here to stay forever. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. Hey y'all, what's going on? <laughs> so, as y'all can tell, it's giving that, what's that character? Be bald in the middle and got hair on the sides? Yeah, that's what it's giving. <laughs> y'all know this is gonna be a chit chat, get ready with me, and this time I am not in a rush. So we have some time, okay? We have some time. Let's jump right into this video. I'ma just start my video, okay y'all. So first things first, the order that we are going to get ready in is hair, makeup, outfit, fragrance, all that type of stuff. But y'all ain't going to see that. If y'all want to see the outfit of what I'm going to wear tonight, then y'all know the drill. Head over to the Tiki Taki. This is the wig that I'll be putting on tonight. It's like this very cute water wave texture. It's not super defined. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of Jerry Curls back in the day. I don't know. But it's just giving Jerry Curl. Something about it is giving Jerry Curl. So, but it's cute. Like, it's not too tight. And it's like the perfect... I'm sorry, y'all. Hair is a texture. It's like a really cute uh, wavy texture. Y'all probably can't see it, but y'all see it over there? Like, it's actually really cute. And on the baby hairs, I actually got kinky curly baby hairs. Now, I didn't customize this wig, y'all. This is a wig actually on their website. And you have the option of getting this wig with the kinky curly texture in the front for the baby hairs. And then the rest of the hair is a different texture. So I wanted to try this out because I'm like, for real, for real, you know, with the texture and everything, I feel like the baby hairs is going to give everything. It's going to look so natural. And then not to mention, y'all, the lace is HD. And I did over bleach the knots just a little bit, but I feel like it made it look even more natural. Okay, let's get into it. So, as y'all can see, here's the up close and personal of it. And y'all see that kinky curly in the front, and then it just starts the hairline in the back with the actual hair texture. So, I think this is going to give everything and more. So, ball cap is on. And just get started, because I don't know why, but I'm so excited to do my hair and my makeup today. I just got, I don't know, I have I got really good feedback on my um, TikTok the last get ready with me and i was just like yeah this might be what i need to do because the girls love it okay so gonna apply foundation to the lace and this is going to help it to look a lot more natural for when we install i have these white pants on right now and i really hope and pray that i don't get nothing on them because child that I'm wearing them out but like still makeup on white pants is gonna be super hard to get up so the idea that I have for this wig is none I don't know what style I'm gonna do with the curly hair um so I guess we'll just see how it goes I mean I have a few ideas in mind but we still don't know yet maybe I feel like once I put my outfit on and everything then we can kind of like get into how I'm gonna wear my hair because I don't know what I'm wearing either um I have an idea again but there's no like for sure this <laughs> y'all slowly but surely to get ready with me's and hair and makeup is going to come back to YouTube like we're making a comeback at least I'm making a comeback. I want to do my sit down videos again and I want it to be popping again, you know? So your girl is making a comeback whether they like it or not, okay? I also really do enjoy doing vlogs, but at the same time, I just feel like this is my niche. You know, this is what I started doing. This and like hair reviews and hair videos and makeup tutorials. So 
I'm comfortable here. There's nothing wrong with being comfortable. Um, if it works, it works. And if it's not broken, don't fix it. You feel me? I don't know. I really just feel like this is my niche. And I like doing these. I actually really do. It's just something about the transformation from start to finish. And I love just watching it back and just seeing my vision come to life. You know? Like with the makeup, um, the hair. Like it just... Everything just ties in together and I'm a sucker for it. I just love it. Is it small too small for my head? Oh no, it's perfect. Whew. Okay. 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 Um, I'm excited. I'm so excited right now. Okay. So we're going to pull this back. And we're gonna zoom up like so. Now the drill, I'm using a boho lace glue active. I'm using, y'all know the drill, I'm using a boho active lace glue. And we're gonna do three layers of this because I plan on keeping this long as long as it can stay on. <laughs> okay, and you just wanna apply right in front of your hairline. And then just, I'm using my popsicle sticks. I finally got my popsicle sticks back. So, yeah, this is what we're going to do. And you just want to spread this all out throughout your hairline. I'm not going to lie. I just can't wait to do my makeup. The makeup is going to eat. I already know. I know, like, I don't be doing nothing OD with my face, like, when I go out. But... It doesn't matter because it just gives every time. Now, when I actually sit down and do my makeup tutorials, that's when I'll, like, incorporate different looks. But for now, me actually, like, doing my makeup to go places, I'm going to stick to what I know and what I like. All right, so now it's time to pull the rest of the wig down into the glue. This is my favorite part. Tell me what's really going on. Drizzy Drake back up in this thing. That's not what he's saying. Drizzy Drake up in this thing. What's happening? in? That's what he said, right? I don't know. Anyways, time to cut the rest of these air tabs off. Now the other side. I'm just going to press the lace into... The glue. Like so. So good already. Like, are you kidding? Ah! Guys, where is the lace? We haven't even fully finished yet. This looks so good. Okay, <laughs> okay, so here is the baby hairs, right? My only complaint is that I feel like they gave me too much <laughs> baby hairs in the front because you definitely do not need all of this. Like, you don't need a half an inch of space for baby hairs. So that's my only complaint. Wow, it looks crazy. I'm going to tie the lace down right now. I'm going to part out my sideburns because we're going to jump into makeup from now because I really just feel like I cannot do, I can't style my hair until my makeup is done until I know what I'm wearing. So that's our dilemma right now. So nothing can be done until we figure out those things and I feel like I'll have a better idea of how I want to wear my hair once all of those things are done. So, sideburns are out, and these are really the only two pieces we're going to take out because these bad boys up here, is the, it's the front of the wig. So, either way, it just needs to be laid. So, we're going to get that out of the way, and then we're going to use the band that 
they actually sent with the wig and we're gonna tie everything down I'm not gonna spray anything on the wig right now because yeah no we're not done okay so I'm just gonna clip the rest of the hair up like this and now I'm gonna start with my makeup so I'm gonna go in with the glow receipt watermelon glow dew drops now this is gonna give your face such a, a hydrating look it's gonna feel like very moisturized and just like I said very hydrating as well so you just want to rub this in and not to mention I already moisturized my face and did like my little mini skincare routine for my makeup my Fenty Beauty primer and I love this stuff I actually stopped using it for a while so I really want to do like a very clean look tonight so that means no brown eyeshadow I know right so disappointing <laughs> yeah I want to do like a really clean look tonight so I don't know how I'm trying to go or which way I'm trying to go with this but I know what I want if that makes sense so now I'm going to start with my brows I've kind of been like wanting to do or jump back into using pomades for my brows because I feel like the girls just you know, we found a really good brow pencil and it was just game over, lights out, no more pomade. But something is telling me we should bring the pomade back. So I think in my next makeup video, I'm going to be doing my brows a little bit different. So just stay tuned for that. But right now, I'm just going to fill in my brows like I normally do. And I'm just filling in my brows. My brows still look good from when I just got them done, so that's good. We don't got to do too much work to them, which I love because it just makes my life a whole lot easier. Before I even leave the house or get ready to go out, I start to get really anxious. Like, And let's not even talk about the drive to the place. I start feeling really anxious like I start getting butterflies in my stomach I start feeling nauseous like I want to throw up like I don't know what it is if it's social anxiety or whatever it is but just the thought of going somewhere and not knowing everybody who's gonna be there it kind of just makes me very anxious and people just really start and not to care no more I'm meeting you where you started it I'm going in with the Too Faced Palm Springs palette, y'all. This has been my go-to palette for such a long time, and I don't know. I just really love it. So I'm going to take Mocktail and Rum Tiki, which is this orange and then this tan color. We're going to mix those together and then take this color in our crease area. This is going to be a real simple eye, but this is my vibe for the night. This is just what I want to do. And I just want to have like a real subtle effect on the eyes. I don't want it to look like I'm wearing eyeshadow, but I want it to look like I did a little something, if that makes sense. It's really simple, y'all, but it just does something. So now I'm going to go in with BYOB, Bring Your Own Bottle, which is this brown shade. Um, and I'm going to smudge this on my lower lash line and we're just going to drag it out a little bit like that. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other eye. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with that transition color that we used. And we're going to just apply this back into our crease a little bit just to help it um, blend out just a little bit better. I think this eye looks really good. Wow, that looks so cute, y'all. So now I'm going to go in with Cabana Time, and we're going to apply this color right on our lid space just to open up our eyes a little bit. And then we're going to blend it into the rest of the eyes. Y'all probably can't even see it. Hold on, let me turn the brightness down a little bit. Y'all see it now, right? looks so cute so I don't think I'm gonna do eyeliner with this look I feel like oh my god this is like lifting my eyes so good ah, 
love this look okay so eyes are done for right now i'm gonna go in with my lashes and then we're gonna jump to the rest of our face all right y'all lashes are on and these are a little bit like smaller and fluffier so i think it's cute i like them so now we're gonna jump into our face we already primed and did all of that okay all right so y'all know why I, I normally do like my little concealer before i get down and start doing my foundation but we're doing our foundation today so i'm just going to blend this in my skin and this is the nars my favorite foundation ever like favorite foundation ever like it gives full coverage it's so good it blends so well with my skin and I'm in the shade Tahoe and it just looks so good y'all. It look like velvet. It looks like velvet on the skin. <laughs> Part is done. I don't want to dry my face in foundation tonight. Like I want my freckles to be seen a little bit more than normal because I just feel like the eyeshadow is giving a little like a light airy type of look. So I'm going to go in with my concealer. But we're going to apply it a little bit differently today. Okay, so I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Sand. And this is going to go in the areas that I want to brighten up. So, and then also on the outer part. On our cupid's bow, our chin, our nose and just a dash on the forehead. And I actually just found my Tarte Concealer. I forgot I had bought one a while ago. I just never touched it. This is also in the shade Medium Honey. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this on top in the inner turtle. Either way, Tarte eats with the concealer. Contour Stick, the Hourglass Foundation. Y'all know, Jawline cheekbones and we're going to apply this on the sides of our nose after I blend out my concealer. Y'all remember those duck faces we used to make while we did our contour? <laughs> like that so that we can just keep it right where it's supposed to be. I'm going to blend out my concealer with my beauty sponge. This is damp as well. Y'all know the drill. Y'all been watching me a little bit too long to think that we gonna blend this out and not have our beauty sponge be damp. Okay. I am nervous for my outfit because I don't know what I'm gonna wear. And I just have a feeling that it's not gonna look right. And then by the time I try everything on, I'm gonna be like, I'm not going because I don't know what to wear. I know when y'all pick an outfit out ahead of time and you're like, yeah, this is gonna look good together. And then you put it on, and then the outfit does not look good. Oh my god, that's my 13th reason. Like, seriously? Like, I really thought that this would have looked good on me. And then just for me to put it on, and then it just not look good. Now we're going to blend out our nose contour. And once again, one side is beautifully blended and the other side is not. And I'm going to set my concealer. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Cream Blush. This is any shade Strawberry Drip. And... I'm gonna take some on my finger and then just apply to my cheek like that and then just use my finger to blend this in. I'll use two fingers to blend this in. Okay, so I don't normally use my fingers and I don't normally use this blush either. Um, my opinion, I feel like I just have to find the right thing to blend out my blush because, well, blend out that cream blush because I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. And now we're going to set all of our cream based products. And I'm going to go in with my bronzer, the CoverGirl bronzer. I don't think I'll ever switch up 
and use anything else because this just works wonders. It's so pigmented and this bronzer is just, it's not muggy at all. And I love that. And with the CoverGirl blush as well, this is in the shade 380 Temptation. And this blush is very pigmented, so I do apply this very gradually because I don't want to overdo it. Did I overdo it just a little bit? I don't know. Alright, so now that our face is pretty much set with all of our um, matte products, like our powders, um, I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I need one of those fans. Y'all know like the Chinese fans that the girlies be using and they just and then just start fanning while their face is drying. That's what I need because this, this, these, ghetto. Ghetto. I don't know. I just like haven't been picking up my highlighter and I kind of want to wear highlighter tonight. So I'm going to wear highlighter tonight. Okay, so I'm going to use the Becca highlighter in the shade Opal. And I'm going to take it on my finger and I'm going to apply on the bridge of my nose. Like this. The bridge and then the tip. Wow. <laughs> apply on the high points of my cheeks like this I don't really care for the cheek highlight I really just love the nose highlight but I know that I can't just do nose and nothing else so everything else is just gonna be really light what's going on here <laughs> like what's going on for real let me know because am I a highlighter girl again I don't know oh my gosh y'all I have not worn highlighter for a year. What's going on? Oh my gosh, why did I stop? I don't know. Uh-uh. See, now I'm dipping in some more and I'm applying more, whatever. But, oh my gosh, it's been forever since I have applied a highlight. This just looks so good. I love this. Okay, so let's set our face one more time. I'm going to go in with my next lip liner. This is in the color Dark Brown. And y'all, it's pretty much crunch time. I really wish I was a matte lip girl because it just looks so good. But I just don't like that dry lip look. Like, it just looks like, girl, you need to lick your lips or something. And we're going to apply our lip gloss hold on so this is what i did in the last video i don't know if y'all seen it my other uh get ready with me if y'all didn't go watch it i like my nudes a little bit more lighter so i go in with some concealer and i just like drop some in there and then ooh, and then i take the actual lipstick container like this and we just mix it all up, okay? We're just mixing, mixing, mixing into the bottle. And hopefully this gives us the color that we want. <laughs> and then, voila. Look at that. Look at it. You can really see all of my moles. That's crazy. Because it looks like I have a full face on. But if I had a full face on, baby, you wouldn't even be able to see my freckles or my moles okay this looks good oh my gosh this looks amazing okay so now back to hair because we got to get this hair done and did and the way my hair is right now i'm really feeling this look um so i think this is kind of the style that i'm gonna go for so i'm just gonna go ahead and curl my baby hairs from now the one thing about it curly hair is always gonna curl really good like, just look at that baby hair. What? Are you kidding? Now, I definitely want my side ones. Like so. And we're going to part out the side ones. I parted out my baby hairs. And the rest is really just going to be up. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, let's do this. Then I'm going to go ahead and pluck some of this hair out because I don't like my baby hairs thick. Y'all know this. But 
Also, the hair itself, the kinky curly is thick as well. So, um, that's really what we're working with here. And I think I'm loving just like the pushback look. I think I'm going to wear my hair like this tonight. Just It just looks so natural, y'all. This looks so good. <laughs> I'm so fucking pretty. Period. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. Okay. So, um, let's start with our baby hairs on this side. So, I'm just swooping them down. But as y'all can see, the hair looks great. It looks so good. I'm so excited. It's time to go get dressed. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So we are pretty much done with the makeup look, the hair look. Everything is nice and completed. We're done. We're ready to go. I feel like this looks so cute. If y'all want to see my outfit that I have on right now, then go ahead and head over to my TikTok so y'all can watch the Get Ready With Me. And yeah, with all of that being said, if y'all enjoyed, y'all know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.